Project today, what I have planned, I have to build Heather some grow lights, believe it or not, and no, not for her specialty either, because <laughs> she doesn't do that. This is for her vegetables. So I actually have a chair set down there and a stool and uh, this uh, fluorescent light I have to take apart because it didn't work. But uh, it's in relatively good shape. And then I am going to paint it with that stuff. I'm hoping the chrome will work better than the white. We're going to see. It's a test, folks. With all the guts stripped out of the, the uh, light fixture now, they're actually laying on the floor. Uh, where they belong for this. Uh, anyways, I'm going to take them outside later. Maybe see if my brother wants them. Well, I am going to get this and scuff this up. I got to get rid of the shine on this so the paint will stick. So all I'm using to scuff the, the paint off and make it rough is this scotch Bright pad. Really, I just want to get rid of the shine in the paint. As soon as you get rid of the shine, then you know that new paint I'm applying is going to have a good surface to stick to. But if it's shiny, it won't, uh, it, it doesn't stick as good. It'll just, I'm worried about maybe it peeling off later. This is just an experiment too. I mean, we don't have a whole lot invested in this. I mean, the paint and these scotch Bright pads is about it. But we don't get enough light here for Heather's vegetables. They're starting to grow like, uh, like grass, maybe. I guess that's how you explain it. And they're leaning towards the window. So I'm going to try some of these LED lights. I'm going to try to wire a few up, solder them up, put a switch, and then I'll hang this from some small chains over top of plants. And we're going to see how this works. The outside I am going to leave white. It's just the inside I want to get shiny. Now maybe white would have been better. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will tell me that white would have been better. Or a different color, but I don't know, so I'm just gonna do it. Chrome. I bought some. I got some cheap chrome paint from my favorite store, Canadian Tire. <laughs> I think that's not bad. Now I'm just gonna tape this up. I think. I think that's scuffed up pretty good. I mean, we're not taking this light to a show and shine contest, are we, Heather? No. no. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna tape this up just so you don't get it all over the edges. See how much white come off here? You can see there's a bit of white on there. Oh, it shows up. That's what it made it shiny. And we're just going to use this, like I say, chrome made by Duplicolor. I don't know how good it'll work, but if it's as shiny as the lid, I'll be pleased. It's yeah, as shiny the lid's as the very lid. shiny. <laughs> if it's as shiny as the lid, maybe we'll spray the the uh, bumpers of our clown car in the <laughs> summer. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but. All that chrome is going to look more like aluminum. Oh, I'm going to get some on your chair, got it? It's all right. Good thing they're old chairs. Huh? Yeah, they're not a family heirloom, it's okay. Yeah. Nope. Put a tack coat on it and then I'll layer on good and heavy. Up. We have a fan going through here, folks. That's the, that's also what you're what you're hearing. Do you like it, Ojo? Wanna go outside? No? Well you better come away from there. Ojo, away now. Come here. You wanna breathe that in. Okay? Good thick coat now.
not sure who decided this looked like chrome, but... Yeah, I can't see what it looks like. I'd like to take them out. If I still had that old 1959 Cadillac I had years ago, which shows what chrome looks like. The container sure looks like chrome. This looks like aluminum. It does. It'll still be good. I hope it'll reflect the light. It'll probably do it better than the white. Here's how to clean out my can nozzles too. Turn her upside down, give it a good shot, clean the nozzle out. Now this can be set aside. Actually that's looking a little cloudy there, but that's good enough. This is going to set aside folks, and I'm going to put that other piece over here. We'll see how this looks when it's done. Oh my butt. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it'll look shinier when it dries. Maybe. It'll have to be. It sure as heck don't look shiny now. Let that dry a little bit. We're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna glue some LED light strips, a strip along this side, a strip along this side, one down the center, and then one over here and one over here. So, one, two, three, four, five strips of lights. Then we'll hang that over Heather's plants. I'm gonna give another quick shot here. Get it good and wet without letting it run. Good enough. We bought two cans and I only went through maybe half or less. How does it look in the sun? You say that looks like chrome? It's a lot of shine in the video, but I don't think it's going to be like that. We're going to see. Look at that chair. It's that chair fancy looking. Woohoo! That's just on the wax. I'm not concerned. Nah, we don't use these chairs often anyway. Okay, so I ended up soldering all the connections. I put the little glue, I put the little light strips in here, the LED light strips. I use my soldering iron in here, my little guy. I can run it right off the uh, uh, charge controller, I mean off the inverter. I soldered up all my terminals and then I was done so they didn't come loose or short. I used some hot glue. So I'm hoping that's good. Now I'm just going to turn this around now. And I'm going to run my wires in. I may drill a hole in here. I won't do that on the rug of course. But I will drill a hole in here. And I am going to try to see if this works very shortly. I, I don't, uh, it's going to work. There's no need even testing it. I'm, I'm sure it's going to work. I don't have any doubts there. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll either work or it won't. So I'm going to use that really nice drill that Tony sent me and the drill bits. And I'm going to drill some holes in here. And I'm going to, I don't know if, do you want a toggle switch or just uh, alligator clips to hook them up? That's what, up to what you. What do you prefer? Makes no difference to me, babe. Just an alligator clip then sure. I'll wire it up. That's fine. Okay, so that's good then. Alright, I have the ends all soldered up and I put some hot glue on there so they don't come loose. I have even the chains on the end as well. They're all bolted up. Light strips are on. I soldered some clips on the end, glued these ends like this, and I'll show you what it's like. I'm going to clip these right here on the battery terminals here. This is a positive, and this is a negative. Yes, so you watch when I touch this here, you watch the lights. There you go, they're on. 
Hoping they will add a little extra light for Heather when she grows her vegetables in here. I don't know how well these LED light strips are going to work. I don't know if they're going to be bright enough, but it's a test anyway. It's just a little experiment I'm going to try. Now I'm going to put the cover on. I'm going to find a spot to hang this up where she's going to set her plants and uh, we'll see how it looks when it's hung up there. All right, folks, well, I got that all hung up. I just put some uh, anchor screws in the ceiling and I made the chain long enough so we can hang it down almost on the floor if we want to because I don't know if Heather wants them on the floor or up on a table. As they grow taller, I can fit them up higher even. They will lift all the way up. So I'm going to get, it is bright in here, but I'm going to get Heather to plug those in right now. Heather, go ahead. And that's how they look. I hope they'll be bright enough now. I don't know how much light they really need. I hope that is showing up, but that's what they, that's what they're looking like up in there. It's not super, super bright, but I think it'll be enough. I'm hoping the plants will like that a lot. We're gonna see anyways. Okay, unplug them, babe. So that's the difference. Plug it in again. Yeah, that's what it's like. And I just used some bolts here and I just, uh, I ended up cutting the chain, prying it apart up here. I'll get this apart here. And I attached it right there. 27 links is where I went to kind of make sure it hung level. So if this works out, folks, um, Heather and I is going to make, well, I will make a few more for Heather, I should say. Heather's making soap today, by the way. Heather, give me a thumbs up. Right, Heather? Yeah. <laughs> she just did that. Well, you can unplug it, Heather. Thank you. You're welcome. 